have an Isla Ho build. Uh, I'm about to head into the spray booth and spray the hull. We're going to be spraying it a white gel coat. We're often asked what's the first thing that goes into a boat, and the first thing that we put into a boat is the color. So if you choose white, which this person has done, we're going to spray a white hull. So I'm using about two liters of gel coat, and it'll take me about 15 minutes, about 45 minutes to tack up. And once we get beyond that, then we can start to actually lay in the fabric. Now that the gel coat has been applied to the mold, we've got a white gel coat. I just sprayed the white hull, white deck, and I'm going to start applying the laminate. This is a composite boat I'm using three layers, actually four layers of material. The first layer I'm going to put down is a six ounce fiberglass. Second layer will be a nine ounce fiberglass. The third layer will be a structural reinforcement that we put in high stress areas of the boat. It's called SORIC. It's a two mil thickness and it's a honeycomb pattern. We'll see that it's a pretty cool pattern that lays in the boat. And then the fourth and final layer will be uh, five ounce Kevlar. In our laminates, there are four layers, and you can order a boat, fiberglass, Kevlar, or carbon. For the hull, we mixed it up, so we actually did six, nine, Sork, and then carbon instead of Kevlar. And then we start applying the consumables. So this is the vacuum bag tape. So tomorrow we're gonna to apply the vacuum bag and the vacuum bag will stick to this tape. And tomorrow we will glue down the spiral wrap. And once we roll out the bag, we stick it to the part and we hook it up to the pumps and put it under vacuum. And once we are assured that there are no leaks in the bag, then we introduce the resin to it, and that's the infusion part. That's a wrap for today. Yeah? Keep going? <laughs>